Hello, Golf Zero Tango Alpha Alpha here <coughs> with a croak. This is just a quick little video to show you some mods I've made to my recently acquired USDX micro transceiver. <coughs> Need a drink. Fantastic little radio. It works perfectly well. I've tried it on all the HF bands, it gets out at about 3.5 4 watts. And reception is pretty damn good. The sideband decoding is pretty good as well. But it was a bit on the small side for people with big hands to handle. There's nowhere to hold it safely. So I thought, well, I've seen brackets for the 991, which actually protect the front controls and make it easier to handle in the field. So I thought, why not do something similar for my little radio? So as you can see, a pair of aluminium strips, one either side, cut out for the power plug, finger holes to carry, and just the job. So before I started, I made sure it was clearance inside because I wanted to put a pair of uh, CB type knobs for security's sake on it. And there's adequate clearance inside uh, for the length of these threads. It misses the speaker on this side quite nicely by about five mils, and there's nothing in here for a good inch that you can interfere with on that side with it. So I set about uh, drilling and fitting it. I made two brackets for it. I've made a mobile bracket which will fit over the rubber washers to protect the paintwork. So I can mount it mobile in the car, he says. Watch it all the way in. Like so, using a bit of button strip, like that. Or, he says, taking this noisy metal work out of the way. I made a simple wire bracket for it. Use in the shack. Hmm. Think of trouble. Ah, two split washers. There we go. The two washers are on one side. So it's uh, it was me, not the bracket. So that can be stood up, so the front panel can be seen, and there's still space at the back for our power. Let's pick a mic. And of course, it's easy to carry now. Not going to step out of your hands, pop a finger through the orifice, and it stays in place. I may yet paint the uh, galvanised wire to make it a bit more subtle, but uh, there we have a nice useful little wire bracket and the aluminium side panel to give it extra strength, so it's drilling it straight into the, the box itself, which is quite flimsy. And again, I've made sure I adequate clearance inside, so when you wind the screws in full length, it doesn't interfere with anything inside it. The speaker is this side. It's a plastic box, which has got quite a big void in it at the back. On this side, the RF section, there's quite a lot of space over the coils and the relays, so it doesn't get in the way of that one. I hope you found that interesting. It's made my radio a lot easier to handle and less likely to drop. So good luck. I hope you have some fun with that. And I look forward to the uh, good weather getting the kite out and working stroke portable. So 73D Jerry, G0TAA stroke, G7MFT for now.